Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here, and today we're gonna to talk about view router and triggering events up through the router. Now, when you start to build out real world view applications, you might turn to a state management library like Vuex, but what happens when you're not familiar with Vuex and you're just kind of getting started? Uh, there's actually a solution for that as well. So what I wanna look at today is how we can actually emit events from our components or our views and actually bubble them up and listen for them on other components or other views. And this might be a little tricky if you're using something like View Router, but when you realize that View Router is nothing more than a component, it makes a lot of sense and it's fairly easy to do. All right, so before we jump into some code, I wanna take a look at what we're gonna be building throughout this tutorial. So we have a pretty simple application here. We have some navbar components where we can switch between our views. We have a home page with some just dummy text on it. We have a footer that displays a status message. Now when we go over to admin, there's no, there's, there's no authentication happening here, but we can imagine that there is. And on the admin page, we have some uh, more dummy text but we also have this area where we can enter a new status message and update the status. So if we go ahead and type in here and click update status, <clears throat> we go ahead and we update the status in the footer there. If we go back to home, we can also see that this is updated. Now this just updates, it emits an event and kind of updates the text that's in the footer. It doesn't persist, so if we were to reload, it would just go back to the default message. So that's kind of what we're building and the reason we're building it is to really kind of highlight how you can bubble up events through components and views uh, when you're using something like View Router. So let's jump into the sample application. So I believe every link that I can below, uh, there's a code sandbox for this. I'll also throw this on GitHub if you wanna go ahead and take a look at the code. But what I did was create a very basic app using the view CLI. And inside of this app, we have two views, that home and that admin. Uh, right now, there's nothing much in there, so nothing going on. And in our router configuration, we have two routes, one for home, one for admin, and that's kind of our starting point. So inside the admin view, if we go back to admin, we want to build this component here that allows us to update the status message. So that's our first task. We're going to go ahead and create that in the components folder. So we're going to go ahead and call this status message dot view. And for those of you new to something like view router, the only difference between placing a component in the components folder and the views folder is that anything in the views folder generally has a route associated with it. So components that we're just going to drop on a page or we might want to reuse, those will go in the components folder. So we're going to scaffold this out and we're going to call this update status. We'll start with a new div. And let's go ahead and create a message here. So please enter a message below to update the status. Okay. And what we want now is an input. So if I say input, we'll start with the text. And then I also want a button. And that should be good for that. So now down here, we're going to just give this a name. Oops. And we're going to start with some data. And all we're going to do is set our default status to nothing. And the reason we do that is we need a variable that we can go ahead and set up some data binding to. So we're going to go ahead and say V model and status. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just copy some styles here so we don't have to watch me type these out. And that looks like everything we need for the status component as of right now, just to go ahead and get this dropped on a page. 
So then what I want to do is I'm going to drop it in here, but to do so, we need to go ahead and import it first. So I'm going to import status message from going to the components folder and status message. So now we also need to say that we're going to use this component. And finally, I'll go ahead and drop it here. All right, so I think that should get us everything we need for now. So let's go ahead and start up our application. We'll run npm run serve. And let's go ahead and jump over to the browser and localhost 8080. And I'm going to go into admin, and now we have our green area there. So that gets us closer. What I want to do now is I want to go into, I want to create that footer. Before we go updating the status, I want to create that footer. So if we look back here, there's a footer, and that is displaying the default message. So if we go back to our application, again, this is going to be a component. So we're going to end up just dropping this in app.view. But I'm going to create a new component, and I'm going to call it the footer. So if you're wondering why I do that instead of just calling it footer, it's kind of a best practice. You don't want to use one word names as components. Um, I can link to the documentation if that will help. But again, it's just a best practice to kind of use um, something other than a one word name because that way you won't confuse it with kind of built in components. So. We have the footer, and what I'm going to do is scaffold this out as well. And we'll say footer, and we'll have a paragraph, and here we're just going to display a status. So let's give this a name. Actually, this is going to take a prop, so let's back that up. Say props, and I'm just going to say that the status is a string. And just like before, I'm going to drop some styles in here just so you don't have to watch me type them. We're going to go back to our app.view, and in here, all I want to do is right below router view, I'm going to go ahead and add the footer. And what we need to do is we need to pass in a status. So status is going to be what? And so what I want to do here in app.view is actually just set up a default message. So this is our app components. So to use that footer, I need to go ahead and import that. So I'm going to go ahead and import the footer from components, the footer. We need to add it here, and that should allow us to add that. And finally, I just need to, dis I need to create a variable called status that has our default status message. So if I come in here and I say status, this, oops, this is the default status message. Okay, um, something, does not like that, uh, where did I add that? So, app, nav, router view, status, don't know what happened there. So status, status. And finally, again, I'm going to drop some styles in here so we don't have to watch me type them out. So if we go back to our application now, we should see we have home. We have this is our default status message. If we go in admin, we see the same thing. So just to kind of recap there, we've added the footer. We're binding to a property called status here. So we set that status to a default message. 
and we pass that into our footer. So now the footer is being used by everything in our application, right? So the router view, so we, this nav and this footer are on the top and the bottom of our views. And then this router view is what includes the different views that we kind of route to. So in our case, our home and our admin. So the, the footer is going to be there. But now what we're doing is we're inside of a view. And inside of a view, inside of a component, we want to go ahead and update a variable. So we're going to need to update that variable for status. And what it's going to do is it's going to emit an event in the status message component. So now the view, the admin view, is going to have to listen to it. And it's also going to have to push that out of the view. And now the footer is going to have to be able to listen for that as well to update its status. So probably not the greatest example in the world. You may not want to do something like this. Um, again, just kind of showing that you can emit events from views and components all the way up through the router and listen for them on other views and other components. So let's start to make this work. The first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the status message. In the status message, we need to go ahead and emit this event when we click on the button. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and add a clicky hand click handler for our button. So we could call a, a method here. I could create a method down here and we could set this up, but I'm actually just going to do this in line. So we can say emit. And I want to emit the update status event. And what I want to do is I want to pass the status variable that we've declared here in our component. So all I'm doing is when you click this button, I'm going to emit an event, emit an event called update status, and it's going to pass this status data right here as the, as the uh, data along with the event. And so the way that we do that is we're using vModel here. So ev as we kind of type in our input box, we are updating the status variable here using data binding. So this should get this should get us what we need in our status uh, component. So now what we need to do is the next level up, we need to listen for it. So in that case, that is actually our admin view. So in our admin view, we need to be able to listen for an event called update status. And the way that we do that is here on the component that's going to emit it, we're going to head, go ahead and add an update status event. Again, this is just a custom event that we've made, so we can listen for, just like we listen for a click event, we can listen for events that we've created as well. So we're going to say update status and update status. So all we're doing there then is we want to create a method and we're going to call this method update status. And this is going to take status. So that status is being passed, if you remember. We are passing that data along with it. And what we need to do here is again emit this event up. So what we want to do is we want to say this.emit, and we're going to say update status, and we're passing this status along. So again, you can see we're bubbling this up from the component to the view. And now what is the next level up? The next level up that actually contains our view is the app router. And the app router does this by using the router view component. So I think what kind of trips people up and tripped me up at first is, all right, well, how do I get the event out of the view? So the admin view is, is emitting that event. Where do I listen for that event now? Well, it turns out the router view here is just a component. So if you were to go look at the source code for um, the view router project, you'll see that the router view and the router links are just components. So if the router view is just a component, we should be able to do the same thing that we were doing before. One thing I want to do here is just add. So because it's just a component, I can do things like add a class to it, right? 
So I'm adding a class to it to kind of give us some padding here. Um, so we have some padding. And what I want to do is do the same thing that we were doing in the, in the view. I want to listen for an event called update status. And I'm going to call a method called update status. So now here in our app, we can say, So now what we want to do is whatever the status that gets up to here is what we're passing into the footer there as the status. So we've already have that variable here. We had a default message set. So all we're going to do is update that. So we're going to say this dot status is equal to whatever is passed in here. And so that should then in turn update the status variable because we are binding to that, it should pass it into the footer and update whatever is in the footer there. So let's go ahead and test this out. We have our default status. If we go over to admin and type in a new status and click there, there it is. So if we go home, we see it there. If we go to admin, we see it there as well. Great, so this is working. Uh, one just little addition I wanna add to this. If I were to type in here and hit enter, nothing is happening. So let's fix that. So the, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go into our status message component. And all we wanna do is here on the input, we wanna add a new event listener. So we're gonna listen for a key press and what we want to listen for is the enter key. So when we, when we click enter, we're actually going to do this same exact thing. So now that we are kind of doubling this up, um, kind of doing the same thing, you could create a method here uh, to handle that, but I'm just going to do it in line again. So now if we go over to um, our application, we should go ahead and refresh. We're going to get our default status message. But now we should be able to type something new and just hit enter. And that fires off the same event that gets bubbled all the way up to the router view. And in our app dot view, we're listening for that. So we pass that to the footer. So I know this was kind of a long way of kind of getting to the point that the router view is just a component. So just like any other component, we can listen for events on that. And when those events are bubbled up to it, we can go ahead and perform some action. In this case, we have get the status all the way up here and we say, all right, when that's updated, go ahead and pass that into our footer to update the status. So I hope you learned something here. Again, I pointed this out in the beginning of the video, but this is something that lends really well to state management. And when you start to run across these problems, especially at larger scale, that's when you're gonna wanna turn to a state management library like Vuex. But when you're building some simple applications and you haven't learned Vuex yet, uh, like in the example that I've kind of gone through here, I was trying to put together an example for people who didn't understand or didn't get to view X yet. So this was kind of an important way to be able to bubble up events through components, through, through views, uh, whenever you're using the view router. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please smash that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see and I will try and get those out for you. Uh, again, hope you learned something new today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.